Welcome everyone to the Climate Digest for Meteorological Spring 2019, covering the months of March, April, and May from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. The Climate Digest is here to let you know the weather and climate highlights each season across the United States and the entire world. During Northern Hemisphere spring from March through May, global land and ocean surfaces were the second warmest in the 140-year record, coming in at 1.73 degrees Fahrenheit, nearly a full degree Celsius warmer than the 20th century average. In fact, the five warmest March through Mays have all occurred since 2015, a sign of our warming climate. Global temperatures for spring have increased at an average rate of 0.14 degrees Fahrenheit per decade since records began. However, this rate has more than doubled since 1981. The global land-only temperature for spring 2019 was also the second highest, with the Southern Hemisphere land experiencing its warmest March through May on record, beating a mark set all the way back in 2016. But even a near record-breaking warm March through May across the globe doesn't mean that every location is warmer than average. Take a look at the Earth and see if you can find places nestled between all of the warmer than average red that were blue or cooler than average. If that location happens to be where you live, remember, you were the outlier in a three-month period dominated by warmer than average temperatures. This animation shows how sea surface temperatures differ from normal for the months of March through May. Blues indicate cooler than normal waters and reds indicate warmer than normal. Shades of red stretched along the equator in the tropical Pacific Ocean are due to El Nino conditions. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, El Nino will persist through the Northern Hemisphere summer, which could impact the hurricane seasons in both the Eastern Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. In the continental United States, meteorological spring had near average temperatures. However, precipitation was nearly two inches above average, making spring 2019 the sixth wettest on record and that much precipitation has consequences. Kansas had its wettest spring on record, and severe flooding occurred along several major rivers, including the Mississippi and Missouri rivers in the central United States. And this was not a short-term event. The Mississippi River at some location in eastern Iowa, northwest Illinois, and northeast Missouri was above major flood stage starting from March 16th and lasting into June. But there's more. The 12-month period from June 2018 to May 2019 was the wettest on record for the United States, with 37.68 inches of precipitation, pushing this most recent 12 months into a clear first place among all year-long totals going back to 1895. Not surprisingly, most of the United States started the summer drought-free. In the future, thanks to climate change, increases in precipitation are projected for the northern Great Plains, upper Midwest, and the Northeast. Warmer air can hold more water in it, which when wrung out of the atmosphere can mean heavier precipitation events. So what does this summer potentially hold for where you live? In these global temperature and precipitation summer forecasts from climate models for summer 2019, areas shaded red have a higher probability of being warmer than normal, and blue would reveal areas more likely to be cooler than normal if there were any blue areas. There are not. Green shading suggests a higher probability of being wetter than normal, and brown indicates drier than normal conditions. As we all know, summer activities are as diverse and varied as the people who take part in them. But so are the weather hazards during the summer months. Make sure you sit down with family or close friends and make a plan for extreme or severe weather events that could impact your area before an emergency happens this summer. You probably won't need to implement your plan, but if you do, it could save your life. And that is your Spring 2019 Climate Digest. Have a safe and fun summer, and don't forget to stay cool. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.